stay in the moment. Stay in the moment, be slow, slow. I've never been into a round so much in my life. <laughs> Come on. What's up, YouTube? Welcome. I'm attempting to break 65. I don't know why I wanted to hit a shot before I start a video. I've never done that. I don't think that's ever happened in the history of GM Golf. I just hit the first tee shot, and now I'm doing the intro. AJ and I <laughs> are playing 18 holes straight up at Sunflower, the one and only, the place where, for me, all of this started. And uh, I'm super excited. It's a little bit breezy today, super hot. We're gonna see if we can go low. We'll see, who knows. Hole number one, you already saw my tee shot. It's, it's a wee bit left, but it'll play. I actually am in the fairway. I thought it was a little left in the fairway. We're all right. Solid tee shot, honestly. Solid start. 97 yards. Got a 60 degree. Um, I don't know. I've only played one round with these irons. The wedges are pretty pure. I mean, the irons, though, I just don't know. Yesterday, they felt nice. So let's see if we can go low. 97 yards, down breeze. I don't know. I have a feeling that is really good. I. I have really good feelings about that one. We didn't have an angle by the green because Ryder was getting the drone up, but this is where my ball ended up. I think it, it like one hop stop, spun back a little bit. We got about three feet for birdie, so we'll see if we can knock it in. Nice. Rammed it in the back. Yeah. I tell you one thing, if that missed, that's six feet by. So there we go. That's the start we need. One under through one, on to hole two, par five. We are taking our time today. That's one thing. We're not rushing. We're not trying to uh, speed any routines. We got all the time in the world. There's a, there's a four man scramble tournament in front of us. So let's just play golf, have some fun. I think this is gonna be driver, driver into this wind today. Par five, hole number two, dog leg left. Honestly, it's weird folks, but like every time I play this hole, I basically just aim at hole three's fairway because I'm so scared of OB. So I kind of like fully expect my ball to go there. Quite the way to play this hole. I, don't, I can't say that I've ever played it this way, but didn't make it to the fairway, so I can't go for the green. I'm just hitting a pitching wedge into hole three's fairway and then going from there. Birdie the hard way, folks. Birdie the hard way. Yeah. Oh. One yard through the fairway. We'll take it, though. It's all right. I'm 30. Into the wind. Oh, I'm nervous, guys. I don't know how this is going to come out. I really needed to be in the fairway. Really bad, but that's all right. Uh, we got to go over some trees. Birdie the hard way. like. And I mean the absolute hard way. The, the biggest thing for me here is distance control. I got a 52 degree. See if we can put one in there. Nice. Very happy with that. All things considered on this hole, having a birdie putt, like 15 feet, it's not good. Let's go 200 through two. This right here is a start you kind of need at Sunflower. Got to take advantage of hole two. And honestly, it's not playing super easy because it's into the wind, but still. We got the, uh, look at that. We got that today. I'm going to make this putt, 100%. Oh, it's I had it. Just hit it too hard. Dang. On hole three, very, very, very attackable par four today. Straight away, hole number three. God, I'm having so much fun. I love being in Kansas City, folks. I don't think you understand. Well, maybe you do after that, but I really, really do. Love playing the home course, being back in Kansas City. Driving hand. I don't understand. It's like Kansas City is literally, it's like, it's like swing loop, you know? That's actually, that's actually a saying. It's like being in Kansas City is like swing loop. I don't know how to explain it. Like, it just, the humidity, the heat, it makes my swing feel nice. Well, we'll see if we can stay dialed and keep the swing feeling nice. 112, downwind. Got a 60 degree here. Should be nice and full. That's short. Oh, 
not my best shot. I always get scared of going long in this hole and that's a problem. But uphill putt. The thing is, I gotta switch my mentality. Didn't hit a good wet shot. I still gotta believe though that I can knock this in. Get it to two under, come on. We'll see if we can clean, clean myself up here. A little three footer. A little bit longer than we would have liked uh, for the par putt, but we'll take it. One under, still going steady. Steady through three. <sighs> On to hole four. 162 yards, par three. Wow, it is downwind. I have a pitching wedge, but this one is always determined based off of distance control this hole. So, I don't know, got a pitching wedge. Gotta take maybe a little bit off this even. Let's see. God, I swung so easy at that. That's how aggressive that wind is. I'm on a ridge. This is like, for those of you that play Sunflower who've played Sunflower, you probably know there's a lot of weird breaks on the green and there's a lot of weird ridges like this one. That way goes that way, this way goes this way and I'm right on it. So honestly, I will be shocked if I'm able to make this because it's gonna dive right, but then it should straighten out. I'm reading putts a little bit more today than I normally would. Gotta give it a run if you want to make it, Garrett. Last two putts that I've hit just didn't didn't get the speed dialed. So four holes in, one under, even par, onto hole five. Very attackable par four. Let's get another birdie. Mark my words, I'm gonna start giving my putts runs. I felt like I was kind of scared of the last two, and there's no need to be scared. Why am I scared? I'm just playing golf. Par four, dog leg left, driver in hand. Let's see if we can put one in the fairway. All right, 73 yards downwind. Trying to play this one a little bit out right. I have a good feeling about this one. 60 green hand. Sit. I don't know, that should be good. Up the hill, put a birdie, we'll take it. I'm struggling to see the breaks here. I don't know, folks. I gotta dial it in here, I gotta make a putt. Does this go left? Yes. We're gonna trust it. Right to left. Yes. There it is. Good putt, dude. Thanks. All right. Two under through five. On to hole six, par five, which is actually playing really tough for me today because I got the older driver that won't go as far, but three shot hole. Like I said, this is probably gonna be my most challenging hole. I didn't say that. This is probably gonna be my most challenging hole today with this driver, but we'll see. We hit the fairway, three shot hole, play it smoothly. Hopefully we can make birdie. We good. Par five, obviously second shot, 250. I got a driver again. I mean, we're trying to hit a driver on the green here. Driver, driver. A little right, not bad. Up the hill, it's not that bad. I didn't love this shot, but that's because I wanted to hit the green. And again, chipping over a ridge, so gotta hope that it doesn't bounce one, one way or the other. Kinda gotta go right down the spine here. Ooh, that was right down the spine. It's a little bit short of the hole. Let's see if we can knock that in. I low key think I wanna play behind people to yeah. slow myself down. Right to left for the birdie. Let's knock it in. Birdie. Three through six, keep it going. You're on track. We're on track, baby. It's so weird, but like in my brain, there can't be a track. You know, like I just have to go out there and play, see what happens. So I don't really care that I made birdie there. Honestly, who cares? On to the next. All right, here we go, guys. Par four, uh, slight dog leg left. 
It's one of those, if you get driver, that's a really aggressive play, but it can kind of work out for you. You just have to hit a really good tee shot. So I am hitting five iron, trying to just hit in the fairway. This is like, for me, a bonus birdie hole. If you birdie this hole ever at Sunflower, that's honestly just a really well played hole. So par is fine, aiming at the right side, five iron in hand. It's weird, but like, you have probably a 10 yard gap when you hit an iron on this hole, because I carry that 10 yards further, it'll miss left of the fairway. It's like, it's actually crazy how much this slopes, so. 165 pins on the left. I got a, I got a pitching wedge here. I'm trying to uh, make another birdie, dude. Come on. This would be sick. This would put me at a four under. Let's do it, honestly, why not? That was atrocious, but that's all right. Maybe we can make a putt, you never know. All right, folks, we got a putt at birdie. 40 feet, it's actually a really tough putt, but let's see what we can do. Up the hill, right to left. Dude, this would be, whew. This would be cool if we can knock this in. Hmm. Wow. All right, 189, par three. Honestly, just trying to give myself something within like 25 feet for birdie. Not trying to get picky here. I got a seven iron in hand, nice and easy. Hit that on the toe. All we can hope for is par now, honestly. Could chip it in, but did not get a hold of that. Alrighty then. Not even close to enough club off the tee. Honestly, I thought I needed to take some off of it because these irons I'm still getting used to, they really jump. But I was wrong, so gotta try and get this up and down. I'm just trying to scare the hole. Can't lie, I hit that how I wanted to, it just landed soft. It's all good though. Up the hill, pretty dead straight. Gotta miss low for a second. Still four under through eight. On to hole nine. Little dog leg left, par four. Very attackable. Probably hit an iron off the tee. Lay up, then wedge in. Five iron in hand. Just trying to lay up here. Give myself a wedge at the green. Hole number nine. Right side of the fairway, pretty much where you want to be. You should have about 120 yards in. 102, I got a 56 degree. It's playing a little bit longer here into the wind. Honestly, I could probably rip this one back pretty nicely if I hit a good shot. My biggest fear was going left with that pin, so we got a putt at it. This is to tie my record on this nine, I believe. See if we can do it, guys. To get it to five, I feel good. I think this putt's actually gonna go in, so. I'm gonna right to left down the hill. I think I see this break pretty nicely. A little bit too hard there, boys. All right, can't complain, played that hole nicely. Had a nice putt, unfortunately, hit it too hard. Need four more on the backside. Definitely a lot harder on the backside, but it's possible. We'll see what we can do. On to hole 10. Par four, hole 10. We just took, I, how long did we take? Like probably almost 45 minutes, huh? Yeah. Took a long break because there's a, a lot of play. There's a tournament in front of us, so we wanted to give them some time to go so we don't have to wait too much. We're on hole 10. You guys know I'm four under. Par four, hole number 10. Hit the fairway, make birdie. This is a good one to birdie for sure. Fairway? Yeah. yeah! There we go, we're going low on this side. I think we're gonna do like seven, nine under on this side. I have to do it, I told Ryder I'm gonna do it. 109, I got a 56 degree here. I really wanna get up and down for birdie. 
step, please step, please step, please. I don't know. A little chunky, swipey, not good shot. I actually, I'm pin high. I was being drama. Right to left, up the hill. Really taking my time here. We're not in a rush today, which I like. I, that pisses me off just a little bit. I gotta be making my putts today. I mean, the thing is though, it's not always about how you start, it's about how you finish. That was nice. I wanted to savor that one as long as possible and never forget that. For the record, I have 180 yards and I'm hitting a pitching wedge. Downhill and my number that I'm trying to get it to is 160. I think it's gonna fly on me. Just trying to carry it to the front. And honestly, being short here is not the worst thing in the world. The thing that you cannot be is long. But if you would. Yes. yes! Come on! This green typically snaps, folks. I've learned a lot of lessons on this hole in my past playing this course, so I think this is good. And what's crazy is like, I think I, I second guessed myself because the last two putts I just rammed through the break, but five under still through 11. It's solid. Man, we've had some missed putts, but we're still dialed. Driver in hand here, par four. I would say this is probably like the last birdie hole for a while, and this is not honestly the easiest of holes. It's 440. I mean, you birdie this one, I mean, the next three holes, you're really just trying to play well and hit good tee shots and hope for the best. So let's see here. We, we finish this one with a birdie and hope for the best in the last uh, six holes. I have so much fun watching you hit driver. <laughs> like, <laughs> this club is. I don't know. I, it's a big Bertha, man. It's, it's been special for me. It's really helped my tempo a lot. All right, 112, little 56 degree. Just a little one, a little downhill. Wind's off the left. I'm really just aiming 10 feet left of this pin. So if it wants to come, it can come, but I'm totally fine if this ends up a little bit left of the pin. Came. And I'm happy about it. I'm actually really trying to dial this in. I'm so confused on this one. I don't see much to it, folks. It's for the birdie. This is the one we need right here. This would be, this is a monumental birdie. Right here is a momentum shift in the round, no matter how you look at it. I didn't see that. Dang, I even, I looked from behind the ball, behind the hole, in the middle of the line, and for some reason, I just couldn't get that line dialed in. I thought it was a dead straight putt, but it is what it is. We are, uh, we are currently five under still, on a 13. We gotta get some birdies on uh, some tougher holes, but we're not gonna press it, that's the thing. We're just gonna, we're gonna cruise, and if we make some putts, we make some putts. Yeah, let's see what we can do. I don't know, man, these irons go so far, these new ones, uh, well, the new old ones that I bought. 180, I'd say it's gonna probably be like a full eight, 180 downhill. If you're a little short, that's fine. Honestly, this is one of those, you wanna take dead aim, and just hope you had a good shot. I don't know. Okay, good, thanks. Had no clue. <laughs> I was like, I didn't know what to say, but. We'll take that. Wow, that's kind of a lot better than I expected to do. All right, this is a tricky one. <sighs> Taking my time here, because this is actually, this is a needed putt. Come on, Ryder. Go! 
There we go. I rarely birdie this hole, so that, that feels really good. Go, kid. Thank you. Come on. Let's keep it rolling. Stay in the moment. Stay in the moment. Be slow, slow, flowy. Still thinking, guys. I don't know. It's either five iron or it's driver. I'm leaning towards driver. I You've think, been striping that thing. Huh? Yeah, I think this is more of the smart play. I think driver is actually smarter. Trying to take it up the right side a little bit. Just trust it. No. No, win, stop. Please. 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 You're fine. It's okay? You're fine, yeah. God. Dude, that one. I'm okay? Yeah. All right. You'll have a swing on it. Because, guys, that was like, I striped that. That would look so good for like. And then the wind just started touching my balls a little bit. If that's all right, we can birdie this hole. Honestly, folks, that was that was a really good tee shot. I just needed it five more yards right. I think we're okay. Ryder said we're okay. What's crazy is it was 303, and like I smoothed that, you smoothed yours, and we're there. You know, that's crazy. I think this isn't gonna be a problem. I think we're okay. I have a 56 degree. I think I gotta see how I'm launching this one. I've never been into a round so much in my life, folks. Woo! Okay. 56 degree, 110, kind of a punch shot, just under full. Okay. All right, I think we got a pot, and that's all right, but thumbs medium, we'll take that. So we could make birdie from there, no. come on. Left to right, I'm kind of just like picking where I'm seeing the ball go in the hole, so. This is a weird strategy, I've never read putts like this. Like if I'm here, this is, so like that's where I'm aiming outside of the hole. That kind of crazy for the birdie. Whew. All right. Thanks. Seven under. On to hole 15, four remain. We're seven under. We're feeling good. We're feeling good. Just gotta stay dialed, gotta slow it down. Every second I think about the round or anything that's going on score-wise, I gotta take a step back and slow it down even more. So it's kind of a weird, weird feeling to have. I don't think I've had it in a long time. So on to 15. Par four, hole 15. Today with this driver, getting it down the hill is not gonna be, I would say, the easiest thing, but we're gonna see if we can do it. Um, kind of aiming up the right side. Everything kind of favors a draw here. If we put one on the fairway, birdie's out there. No. You see it come down? No, I didn't see it. God, that was so perfect. <laughs> Hit that so good. Barely clipped that tree. That's honestly, for me, that's where I try and aim because if you go left, you're absolutely screwed, but all depends on the bounce. Well, I'm not trying to be like this, but this, this is one of the most unlucky breaks I've ever got. I mean, it hit that tree up there, kick the opposite direction like 40 yards right. Hey, with all the luck that I get on the course, I gotta get unlucky every once in a while. Unfortunately, it comes at a very bad time. That but means you have an opportunity to hit a really cool shot. I was literally thinking that. Like I can hit a fade around the tree, I'm already trying to plan which club I'm gonna use. 160 yards, I mean, gotta focus up here. This is a monumental shot in the round today. My hybrid in hand, trying to hit a low fade around the tree. Be 
beyond happy with that. I didn't think there was really much of a chance of getting that on the green, so we'll take that. All right, well, got it pin high. Again, taking my time here, you wanna leave yourself under the hole on this hole. 60 degree in hand here. Got the line, I know what this does. Just hit the shot. Uh, kind of came out dead. I was scared of that. A little into the grain there, but let's see if we can make that. This one, it's one of those that's like, it's just not technically, but in my mind, this is pretty much a must make. I gotta make it. First bogey of the day, we got three holes left. There's a chance. If you guys couldn't tell, I'm like really focused right now. So 17 and 18, birdie holes. That one, unfortunately, just slipped by. I, I honestly hit a good pot. I just couldn't get myself to trust that much break. All right, six iron here. 215, down off the left. Five rider. We'll see. Oh, it was six. It was six. It was six. Come on. Let's get one here. Come, Come on. on. Come on. Come on. All right, it was six. I might need to put these clubs in my bag. Cal Callaway, send me the updated versions of these with these shafts. Come on, please. They're like extra stiff shafts, and I like it. Wow. Okay. A couple great shots in here. I got a slider, but I don't mind that. I like right to lefters. AJ and I were talking about it on the way up, the power of breathing. Especially in situations like this, when you're nervous or you're feeling maybe a little uneasy, you, you really have to breathe. We're right back on track, baby. We're right back. Come on. Come on. Dude, I am so ecstatic right now watching it play. Like, I'm trying to like not be in the way or like act too excited because yeah. like I don't want it to get in his head. Yeah. Like I'm just trying to be like calm, mellow, stay out of the way. But like I am so happy. Hey yo. Hey boys. Okay. Yo, I've played. I'm. I'm gonna tell you this right now. I have played this hole my entire life since I was 13. And I've never seen in one group two birdies on this one hole. <laughs> never in my entirety of living on this earth. That is crazy. That is the hardest part three you'll play out here. 100%. Wow. Okay. Good birdie, AJ. Tees are way back today. I like it. Par five, 17. Light, and I mean slight dog. Well, actually, not very slight. Pretty fair dog league to the right. Keys, obviously. Getting it up past the corner. Got driver in hand here. Pured it. I pured it. Might have to hit a little bit of a fade to get it around that, but that's all right. All right. 265 front. I don't think I can quite get this there, but I want to get it as close as possible to the green. I got driver again. Honestly, don't have a terrible lie in this rough. It's because it's down grain. That's the only reason I'm hitting this. Anything up there close to the green, I'm happy. If I get this to the green, that would be huge. See, a little too much fade. I think it's probably just in the right rough. Should be all right. Short of the green. Hang on. 
overfaded it and honestly it's not the worst thing in the world kind of have some tree trouble i gotta go over but it's not terrible got 69 yards which i really like Let's see if we can put one close i got a 60 degree in hand Let's dial it in here Long putt, fairly long putt for uh, for birdie. This is one that we really need to try and make here. Come on. All right. Well, for the birdie, it's uh, kind of an outside outside look at it, but it's a look. Had the exact line. I knew it was the right line. Ah, oh, just not enough face. All right, final hole, guys. Can't hide it. Got a birdie. Got a birdie to uh, to do it. <laughs> the uh, the famous number 64. The clubs that aren't even mine. <laughs> if uh, if I birdie this final hole, we do it. If not, we fought really hard and we had a good day. So let's finish strong. You never know. Five iron fairway. Ideally 120 yards up and down for birdie. That's a perfect angle. It's exactly where you want to be. I'm going to do it. Birdie for 64. I think I'm gonna do it. I, I have, I have faith in my, my second wedge here. I'm going to speak it into existence. I'm not gonna be scared of that number. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna hit a wedge tight. I'm gonna make a putt. I'm gonna shoot that golden number 64. Let's see if we can get it done, folks. I gotta stay dialed. Slow, slow. I'm not normally like this. I'm not, I'm not normally dialed in. Like I don't normally have a good mental game but i felt good all day even under the pressure and so let's focus up let's hit a wedge shot tight let's make birdie come on good okay. 138 yards in between clubs i got the adrenaline i know what i'm doing Please, please go, please. <gasps> huh? That's a pot, where you go? Huh? It's right there. No, I know, but it's it's spun back a little bit. That would have been tapping if it yeah. was. All right, we're knocking that in. Come on, Ryder. Come on. We're shooting the 64, I'm serious, I'm serious. Oh. I want a slow-mo replay of that line. 
It's a misread. <sighs> Frick. Garrett, it all came down to a misread. I could not, I'm telling you guys, I'm not even just saying this, like I could not have hit a better putt. It was, <laughs> God, it was so end over end. And <sighs> I think the problem is for once, reading it from the, reading it from behind the hole screwed me. Because on this side, I saw it falling left at the end. And on this side, I saw it straight. Dang. I mean, I will say, folks, it's kind of tough to... It's kind of tough to even, like, think about being upset right now. Because, I mean, I just beat my record by two shots. My record previously was also at this course, and it was 67. Five under. What <laughs> the... Yeah. Oh, uh, folks, I I don't even know, Ryder, zoom in on that putt. I want a slow-mo replay. It came down to a little misread on a dead straight putt. It's tough to say it, but it stings. I mean, like, I never would think that saying a 65 stings, but it's like bittersweet, you know? It's a bittersweet feeling. The goal is obviously that 64 number. God, I'm like trembling in my voice right now because I was so nervous. And I slowed my breathing, and I honestly, I have to say, the back nine is a lot harder. I impressed myself on the back nine. I shot better than, than I think I normally would in a situation like this. So, four under going in the back nine. I almost sealed it. The, uh, the one bogey, there's a lot, of, a lot of putts that obviously could have fallen. You guys watched the video, I don't need to explain. But yeah, I mean, nonetheless, that is a 65, seven under par. Oh, <laughs> I mean, that's my record. I, I can't tell you how happy I am, guys, because I have not played very well on like an 18-hole round in a long time on camera, and it feels like tremendously good. The funny part is, like, I wasn't even using my clubs, which is crazy to think about, but hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, stay tuned for more content, and please leave a like, show some love on this video. Pretty, pretty crazy stuff. Till next time, guys, I will see ya. Peace.